Today we are going to talk about this physical property of ammonia gas. There are few important physical property of ammonia gas. I want to introduce this uh, few property a little detail. Okay, it is colorless gas. It is colorless gas having pungent smell pungent smell having pungent smell okay what it mean it cannot be seen we know that this is colorless but uh, you might have some common experience that whenever we enter into uh, uncleaned toilets then uh, it smells very bad and this smell is a very pungent smell and actually this is the smell of ammonia gas that's why uh, ammonia has pungent smell it is colorless gas this is one of the important physical property of ammonia gas now let's talk about the next property let's go to second it is highly soluble in water it is highly soluble highly soluble in water all of you know that carbon dioxide is soluble in water i told in previous class also but it is more soluble than carbon dioxide gas. Carbon dioxide can be dissolved more and more in water by using pressure. Pre uh, pressure increases the solubility of carbon dioxide, but it is highly soluble. Uh, this 32 gram of ammonia gas is soluble in 100 ml of water. Look at this value. This is a very high value, and that's why its solubility is very high. Okay, now let's talk about third one. It is lighter than lighter than air. It is lighter than air, and because of this reason, using this property, we can collect this gas in inverted gas jar. Look at this. Ammonia gas is collected in inverted gas jar in laboratory preparation and uh, whenever we deliver ammonia gas into uh, an inverted gas jar then it is lighter than air that's why it goes up and the this gas jar which is previously filled with air that air comes out of it and that's why by the downward displacement of air ammonia gas can be collected in uh, inverted gas jar because uh the the gas ammonia gas is lighter than air okay uh, but just opposite of this carbon dioxide gas is collected in upright gas jar i mean to say if we put a gas jar like this and carbon dioxide gas is delivered into it then what happens carbon dioxide gas is heavier than air that's why it goes down and it displaces air in the upward di direction and uh, this air contained in the gas air comes out and so we can say that carbon dioxide is collected in an erect gas air by the upward displacement of air and this is why because carbon dioxide is heavier than air but we are now talking about ammonia not about the carbon dioxide this is just the comparison okay now let's talk about another property fourth one it turns wet red litmus paper into blue it turns wet red litmus paper into blue this litmus paper and this litmus is a kind of indicator indicator indicates whether the compound is acidic or basic it identifies acid and base and this ammonia has basic property when red litmus paper is introduced into ammonia gas jar i mean to say if we have ammonia gas jar i mean uh, this means ammonia is filled in it whether ammonia gas is filled in a 
filled in this gazer or not can be tested by using a wet red litmus paper because ammonia dissolves in water contained in uh, red litmus paper and when ammonia dissolves in water it forms ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide this is a base and all of you know that base turns red litmus paper into blue and that's why uh, this gas jar contains ammonia can be declared this is one of the method of testing ammonia gas in laboratory okay number five it is neither combustible it is neither combustible nor the supporter of combustion what is the meaning it, it is neither combustible it is not combustible gas like hydrogen if we um, we use this uh, burning match stick we introduce burning match stick into a gas that containing hydrogen then hydrogen bonds with pop sound but it, uh, it doesn't burn it is not combustible gas and it doesn't support combustion also when burning match stick is introduced into uh, a gas that containing ammonia gas then it extinguishes what it mean neither it support the combustion nor it uh, nor it is combustible gas it is the uh, neutral so these are the major uh, physical properties of ammonia gas but uh, in physical property we never use this chemical reaction this is just for understanding only i wrote this chemical reaction but this is related with just the change of color in this sense this is physical property okay these five are important physical property of ammonia gas